Dennis, now that you've been back with the Marlies for a little bit since being up with the big club, how are you liking your game lately? Uh, I think my game's been okay. It's been a little up and down. Uh, I think I have had some games where I've let in a, a goal that should should save in, in an important part of the game and, and kind of messed up our rhythm a little. Uh, and, then so, and then other parts of the game have been really good. So I think it's been a little bit up and down, but uh, definitely something to to make more more consistent for the playoffs. Here. When looking at this game specifically, you guys go down 2-1. What's the mindset to kind of hold the guys together, especially in that five on three? Uh, yeah. I mean, today as well, uh, boys kind of bailed me out. Uh, had a tough second period there. And, uh, but uh, yeah, came back strong with a big goal late in the second and and uh, just kept it, kept it clean in front of that in third and I it was nice getting a couple saves there to kind of kind of redeem myself but it was it was a good third uh, I think we've done that in the past too shutting down games so, so I know we can do it and it's a good when you're looking at that five on three having veterans out there like Blandisi, Lajoie having guys like that out there does it give you more confidence knowing that it'll be a little bit easier yeah I mean we all know they They've had long careers, long successful ones, uh, and we know they, they're smart players. And obviously, you feel feel calm with them on the ice. You, you so that's that's always a plus. And nice having them there because yeah, you, you can kind of lay back on them or like, rely on them a little, a little more. Even though this Belleville team had some call-ups and they look a little bit different from earlier in the season. What is kind of the biggest challenge you've remembered from facing such a divisional rival like Belleville? Yeah, I mean, they've been successful against us, and I think, I mean, they just kept it pretty simple, like their game, throwing a lot of pucks in the net. And it's worked for them so far, not today as much, but uh, I think that's a big part of it. They've been keeping it simple. Confidence does a win like this give you and the group heading on the road now? It's nice. Uh, I mean, we had what did we have three straight or something? I mean, when that happens, you kind of start thinking a little. Uh, so it's nice going on the road with a win for sure. Will help. Like this, I know you said you you felt like you've been struggling a little, but can a win like this help you too in terms yeah. of play? Yeah, like it's always a better feeling after if you win. So, yeah, <laughs> for sure it helps. Yeah. John, what goes through the coaching staff mind when that five on three is going on? Well, um, again, great job by the penalty killers and our goaltender to kill that off. Um, I, didn't, I didn't particularly like the first call, but again, at the end of the day, you know, it's, it, it happened and we did whatever we had to do, but not nothing good's going through our, to answer your question, not many good things, but there's nothing we can do about it at that point. We just got to focus and, and get the job done. What goes through the decision making to putting out those veteran guys for that opportunity? Well, I mean, they've been there in those situations before and, um, you know, they, they understand what it's going to take to win. And, you know, they did a, a great job um, finding a way and, and, and again, getting us those uh, two points that we desperately need. We've talked a lot about close games lately, and there's been some that you're on the other side of. What was the difference today that put you guys over the edge? I think the block shots and the commitment to doing the little things right uh, to give yourself a chance to win. Like the, the D's on the, the special teams was huge for us today. Um, the momentum shifts, but more importantly, the block shots and the ability to protect the front of the net so they don't get those second opportunities. And I thought we did a really good job doing that today. Does that power play goal from Roni kind of embody the the grit and the effort that you want to see on a daily basis? That's a that's a it's a really good point. Um, yes, and um, he has that. You know what he's had to go through this year, uh, um, and then to score that goal was I'm sure it's going to help his confidence as well going forward. What did you like the most about Hildeby's ability to kind of make those big saves, even being down two one? Yeah, and I, again, he I'm sure he would have probably liked uh, maybe the the second one back, but. Man, when he made that save on that uh, penalty shot was was huge. It gave our bench a tremendous amount of uh, life. 
And, you know, after he made that save, we killed that penalty off, then, you know, we scored that big goal. So, and he shut the door. Like, he was as good as I've seen him all season. And, uh, man, we needed him to be. When we talked about Zach Solo throughout the season, we talk about his energy. Getting that game-winning goal, is it just fitting, especially on a school day game? Yeah, well, he uh, it, it, it was good. Um, again, he brings a lot of energy. Sometimes he plays out with a lot of emotion. And, um, and at the end of the day, sometimes it's positive and sometimes it's it's not so good. But again, um, having a guy like that and understanding, you know, uh, what he needs to do, it was a, it was a huge, um, huge goal for him and our team. What does a win like this do for the group about to head on the road for some big games? Well, I hopefully it brings us more momentum and we can carry it over to, to Friday uh, versus uh, Versus Utica, so you know we we have a lot of work still to do, and you know we're gonna have to string some wins together, and and doing the right, playing the right way, for when the if if we're fortunate enough to get in the playoffs, that we're ready for it. So again, it's a big big game again on Friday. You reunited Abruzzi with Shaw, who have experience playing together throughout last season and this season. Abruzzi gets that first goal. What did you like? Putting them back together. I like their line. Um, you know, they've always had chemistry, and, and sometimes you know you need a little bit of a break from one another. But they ultimately like playing together, and I really like that line with Bellows and, and Sean Abrazizi. Um, unfortunately, we had a little too many penalties to kind of take away from our momentum. But I thought they were great the uh, the whole game, and again, hopefully they can build on that and uh, carry it on over as well. How crucial is this win, not only because it is a win, but just how close you guys and Belleville are in the standings? Uh, yeah, I mean, you see it. It's um, it's tight um, between those three and, uh, you know, seven. It's There's not much room for error. And, again, we got to take advantage of these home games, especially, and uh, and especially having a couple games in hand, too, as well. So it was a big confidence boost for us. Um, the last I've liked our game the last four games that we played them um, much better. Um, it's given, given us a few big wins, so we just have to continue to move forward. And uh, they're, good, they're a tough team. They're, uh, they're going to be a tough out come playoff time.